um, The Little Mermaid is dramatically underperforming in two significant markets, especially China, the world's second largest box office, and South Korea, amid racist commentary and critiques that are out there. Uh, the black actress, Holly Bailey, she has been widely commended and praised for her performance as the main character, Ariel, but apparently not enough to win over certain would-be viewers in China and South Korea who just can't get over the fact that she was cast by Disney in this role. Now, the film has found success in many countries around the world. We'll walk through some data points for you. In fact, according to Comscore, the film has made $327 million globally. But China, again, the world's second largest box office, has contributed a very small amount. According to NData, this is the Chinese box office tracker, in mainland China, the film made only $2.7 million in its first five days. And you compare that to the Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, that brought in nearly $20 million in its first five days. Um, some in mainland China have been sharing their objections online. You know, one netizen on a platform called Mao Yen, which is a box office movie platform, said, quote, that the fairy tale I grew up with has changed beyond recognition, unquote. And Chinese state media has been egging on such responses. In fact, let's bring it up for you. An op-ed, it was published before the film's debut in China. The Global Times said this, quote, the controversy surrounding Disney's forced inclusion of minorities in classic films is not about racism, but its lazy and irresponsible storytelling strategy, unquote. Uh, Disney declined to comment to CNN on this story, but we've also seen similar reaction online in South Korea, with one user saying that the movie had, quote, been ruined, adding the hashtag, not my Ariel. According to the Korean Film Council in South Korea, The Little Mermaid attracted, and here are more numbers for you, some 472,000 viewers in its first week. Compare that to the near 643,000 fans who showed up for the latest Fast and Furious movie over the same period. John.